Hello all and welcome to another tutorial. My hope is that this will be helpful and informational. If you like this video please give a like and comment if there's anything you think I can improve on. I'm open to su suggestions and uh, can't wait to hear back from you. With my videos I give a heads up if a process will take a chunk of time and I'll fast forward it to the completion spot. I'll display a pause icon in between those moments and at that time you're encouraged to hit pause until you get to the completion stage. Alright, well let's uh, get into it. First thing we want to do is move the terminal favorites oops and then we want to do sudo apt update and and sudo apt upgrade I'll ask for password All right, once that's complete, we want to do sudo apt dist upgrade. You can hit tab to auto complete. All right, so now that our Linux environment is updated to the fullest, We'll clear this out. What we want to type next is curl https so we're typing in the rust up server so we can download Rust. And we want to do one for default. This should be fairly fast. And there we go. Now we want to copy this right here. Copy paste that, hit enter. Then what we'll do is we'll clear this out really quick. We'll run rust up install stable. Hit enter. That went through. Then we can go back up here and either retype rust up and then type default and then stable. All right, so that is done. Now we want to make directory. And we want to name it Mongunder node. Then we want to cd to folder. Once we do the git clone https colon slash slash github dot com slash input output hk your mander your man gunder
Next thing we want to do is CD into the newly created your Mongonder. Now we're in that folder. We want to type git sub module update dash dash int dash dash reclusive uh, recursive sorry recursive hit enter now we want to sudo apt slash update This will take a second. Once that's done, we do sudo apt install gcc. And this will ask you, do you want to continue? You say yes. Yes. And this will take a few moments, so you can pause the video. And that should be done. Now we want to do the cargo install dash dash path. Then your mongander enter. And this will take a while, so go ahead and pause the video. All right, now that we're done with that command, we can go on to the next, which is cargo install dash dash path jcli. This will take a moment. Go ahead and pause the video. All right, so now we can test to see if it was installed and what version JCLI was uh, installed. And you do that by JCLI dash capital V. And right here it shows JCLI 0.2.3. All right, now we want to give one of the scripts that we'll be using to boot up the uh, Yermongonder node itself. We want to give it um, basically the credentials to allow it to do what it needs to. So we'll do chmod plus x. Now we do scripts, we can do type SC and then hit tab. It'll uh, autofill the rest of that all the way up to the slash. Then we want to do boot, so we can type BO and hit tab. And that will autofill. Now we hit enter. And there we go. We've given it the permissions that it needs. All right, now that we have given permissions to the bootstrap, we want to cd back one folder. So now we're in the your mongonder dash node. We want to make a directory and call it self node and hit enter. Then we want to cd into self node. Now we're in self node folder. Then we want to run the yargmongonder slash script slash boot strap. And then we want to feed it, feed it into a text document called node underscore config 
config dot txt for later use. So we will hit enter here and it will give us the versions for the JCLI and the uh, node version. You get your faucet account, public, secret. And I believe this is the amount they give you as fake ADA. You get the pool ID right here. This is our next command we will run. Whoops. And we'll paste it here, but we need to add to it. And what we need to add to it will be an and sign greater than. Uh, and then we want to name my underscore node dot log and then put an and after that. We want to hit enter and we should get an ID process number right there. That shows that it's working. Then we can go type in JCL reset, or not reset, JCLI rest space V zero account get. And then we want to copy this account, paste that. And then we want to do dash H and then one last thing we want to copy would be the API address. We hit enter and there we are. And if we want to see the node actually in action, we can go tail dash F my underscore node dot log and here we go so block added successfully to node blockchain so there you go it is working you want to keep this terminal open uh, otherwise you will kill the process I could be wrong but I believe that's the case and if you are going to be running this self node, you won't really need to have anything else on or running. You just leave that open and you just hands off. Just make sure it's always on and uh, running uh, all the time. All right. Well, I hope this uh, helped you out. I will be making more videos on how to send money, uh, set up a wallet uh, for Cardano ADA, um, and using it within the testnet. All right, thank you for the view and have a good day.